One of the most remarkable coincidences regarding the interstellar object, Free Eye Atlas, is this alignment of its trajectory with the ecliptic orbital plane of the planets around the Sun. And of course this means that Free Eye Atlas is passing through the so-called interplanetary zodiacal dust that resides in that plane. And this thing is glowing, producing its own light. Astronomers typically interpret the glow surrounding Free Eye Atlas as sunlight reflecting off dust and gas being released from its nucleus. However, Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, he offers an extraordinary alternative. Based on brightness profiles and Hubble imagery, he argues that the nucleus itself may be the source of the glow and not merely reflected sunlight. According to Avi Loeb, the brightness suggests a smaller object, possibly under 100 meters, yet glowing intensely from within. And he has even speculated that this interstellar object may be a possible rare piece from a supernova's core, naturally emitting light, though he notes that this is improbable given the scarcity of such materials in interstellar space. So he's favoring the nuclear-powered spacecraft theory. Dust emission could be from surface contamination accumulated during interstellar travel. Avi Loeb suggests that while this cannot be completely ruled out, stronger evidence is necessary. And it must be said that NASA have fully classified Free Eye Atlas as a comet with no indication of artificial origins, and that is on the NASA website. And this interstellar object's tail is pointing towards the sun. It is shedding material in the direction of the sun, and this appears to be intentional breaking systems. If Free Eye Atlas or any other interstellar object were discovered to be artificial, and its tail pointing towards the sun, then a proton electrical tail pointing sunward could look like a deliberate breaking bum using expelled ions to slow down against the sun's gravity. In plasma propulsion concepts, thrust is indeed created by ejecting ions. How could a comet ever produce a tail that points towards the sun? The answer lies in solar wind turbulence. The sun. The sun does not emit a calm, uniform stream of particles. Instead, its plasma flow surges, shifts, and reconnects, creating storms of magnetism. When a comet passes through such turbulent regions, its ion tail can be disconnected, literally severed. This is by the shifting magnetic fields. At times, particles briefly appear to stream inward, forming a sunward pointing spike or a proton tail. And these anomalies are usually short-lived, lasting hours or even days, but in the case of Free Eye Atlas, this appears to be deliberate. Comet Halley in 1986 and comets Enki and McNaught have shown temporary sunward features, but they have only lasted a few short hours. And in each of these cases, the explanation was the solar wind chaos. A proton or ion tail directed sunward looks exactly like ion exhaust expelled against the direction of travel the way an interstellar probe might slow itself when entering a planetary system. If this interstellar object was not a natural object, but a nuclear-powered spacecraft ejecting superheated plasma as thrust, then the glow we see could be the byproduct of its engines. For now astronomers lean firmly on the side of nature. Plasma physics can explain sunward spikes and cometary outgassing explains the glow. Yet the symbolism is irresistible, a lone wanderer from the stars slowing down as though curious about our existence. But what do you guys think about this? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.